Hi, my name's Chris Smith and welcome to my boat. Yeah, we're currently on the River Trent in Nottingham. I'm moored up just off the Trent in a nice little boat waiting for June 16th to come. Waking up in the morning is different from living in a house. I mean, I've lived in houses and flats and to take this life up and to live down here, it's special. Have a bit of freedom and a bit of land and stuff like that. It's a trend, wow. Yeah, it's a massive stretch of water. Uh, it's got a few little off cuts of uh, water as well, a few little mornings. And yeah, it's it's got a lot to offer where I am and that's the reason why I'm down here. Perhaps it's been hard work, but it's been amazing to, to watch. Like, the amount of bait I put in uh, throughout the close season, I've, I've baited up. I, d I don't think I've missed a day without some bait going in at least on one, onto one of the spots and then watching them come in and feeding on your on your spot it's, it's it's rewarding but it's hard it's been hard not to fish from there's a lot of like weed and cabbages and lily pads and it's it's an absolute haven for fish as well it's got decking all the way around it and all the boats are like mourned up at the side and then you've got your spaces to fish in in the middle and yeah it's it's a good little bit of water it's, Carp heaven down here. And this is the first spot I've been baiting up down here, and it's the first spot that I started baiting up because it was on my way out every time I went for work, and when I came home, I had to pass this spot. So this is th this was the main spot that I could bait up, and I could see every single day and see what was happening around the on the spots and what fish were coming in and what they've actually done to it which is dig down a four foot of silk which, and got me down to the gravel so I can present a nice bait on that now. Right, we've come to the end of the decking where my boat is at the back. There's a spot just over to my right hand side which is probably about half a rod length out and I can see it clearly and then my other spot is behind this boat here next to me and that's just so I can see it again and all these spots have been chosen, the main spots have been chosen just so I can actually see the fish coming in. I've been feeding them, to begin with it was like mainly particle, it was just buying a lot of um, cheap sweet corn from the supermarket, because every time I used to come back from work I used to stop off at the supermarket to get my food to eat for the night, so I'd pick up two bags of sweet corn and spread that between five to six spots. In the past month as well, I've just started introducing boiler to them, giving them whole boilers and chopped boilers, just to get them used to picking up heavier baits and not just eating the particle. And also the particle was for me to make my spots as well, for them to clean the spots off. I couldn't get in with a rake and rake them off, so I put the bait on and yeah, they've took it down to, as you can see out there, they took it down to the gravel and it's very deep with silt out there. It's, it's a very silty place. From what I've been told, there is quite a few big fish down here. The biggest I've heard that's down here, and it's, that was from a good friend, and that was a 38 pound common, that was. That was a 38 common, but I've actually seen a 30 pound common in here about a month ago it come in, and I haven't seen it since, so I don't know where that's gone. But the biggest that I've, I've seen in here now is a decent common at about 25 pound, but most of the, it's mainly mirrors at the moment which is good because I thought it'd be a lot of commons down here but it's not. I'm using two rigs tonight, and this is the first one. This is a, a floppy hinge rig, like a stiff rig, just made up of a, a 25 pound armor link and a stiff combi link, and just a citrus pop up, chod twister, down to a leg clip. And I've just got about five foot of Klingon leader. And this is the other rig I'm gonna be using tonight. This is a simple blowback rig with a size six Fang X, down to a 15 pound combi link. And this is 
simple snowman rig and hopefully one of these two rigs will work tonight. I love fishing the rivers and the canals around Nottingham because it's just a, a massive mystery. You never know what you're going to get and that's the biggest buzz for me ever is, is catching the unknown. You never know what's going to come in. Yeah, and I've been lucky enough to catch some of the really, really, really nice looking carp. The biggest I've had is a, is a nice 18 pound mirror, like half linear. I've got some pictures of that and I've got also had a lovely like apple slice mirror. Yeah, it's an absolute boys catching them and fingers crossed for tonight we're gonna to get one of them I'll have something to show you in the morning well it's just turned midnight it's June the 16th now it's time to get the rods out Here we are, it's June the 16th. All the hard work and the effort has finally paid off. And here I am with my first car from the river. I'm absolutely buzzing. Buzzing is a mentor as well. <laughs> Absolute mentor. Well, 
I've had an amazing start to the river season, absolutely buzzing.